Ta-da! What's happening, leprechauns? Leo the Leprechaun, back once again with the Renegade Master. And all for the fucking boogie and time to get down to shit. Welcome back to Anxiety Attacks Part 3. One little thing that I would like to add. All of my three anxiety attacks, I was not aware at the time that they were an anxiety attack. It wasn't until years after that I heard what an anxiety attack felt like. I was like, oh shit, I've had three of them. Anyway, my third anxiety attack was whenever I was in work. I was working in a call center. Converges for any of you from Belfast. I think half of the population of Belfast have worked in Converges or Concentrics. Quote from Mudblood Podcast with William Thompson and Paddy McConnell. Paddy McConnell or Paddy McDonald? Who the fuck knows? Anyway, there is nowhere quite cross community like a call center. So fucking true. Anyway, check out their podcast, it's funny. At this call center, I'm pretty sure I went on a night out, either the day before or two days before. And during those night outs, I was sort of having a drug binge, so I would have been on ecstasy. So I was on either a calm down or a two day calm down, one of the two. And I was sitting at my computer, had my headset on. I had just finished a call. And while I was looking at the screen, the bright white screen, I just start like, I just froze. My heartbeat just started increasing loads. My heartbeat was going extremely fast, like. And I started to take really deep breaths, like. And I thought, fuck, I felt like I was gonna die. I don't know what the fuck was happening to me, honestly. And I just started shaking. My eyes opening up wide and I just froze. I just put my call on hold and I sat there and I just fucking battled it out. I just tried to breathe through it. And at this point I didn't know how to breathe to relax myself. I just tried to do deep breath and because my breathing was going so quick and my heart was beating so fast. Yeah, it was scary. If you are going through that situation, then honestly take a break. Like, get out of your workspace. Just fucking walk out of work at that minute and get some fresh air. I didn't do that. I went back to work. Looking back, I have no idea how I went back to work, but I did. And I didn't tell anyone about it either, which was a massive mistake. Eventually I did go to my doctor then saying that I was depressed. And once again, I did not know this was an anxiety attack. I just thought I was going to die. And I didn't tell my doctor that I had this anxiety attack because I think she would have addressed it more seriously, if so. But my doctor just told me that, like, what are you not enjoying with your life right now? And I was like, well, I hate my job. I hate my life. <laughs> and she was like, well, change your job and everything you don't like, just change it. And stop taking drugs. So I did change my job. And I did not stop taking drugs. If anything, I'd take more drugs, but I did not have an anxiety attack after that. I did reach states of what you could maybe describe as manic, which I was aware of, but I was so scared about it. I didn't want to talk about it and I didn't know what to do about it. I was just so scared about going mad. So my solution to that was not take ecstasy anymore. And that was pretty good. So that was my third anxiety attack. Next week, I'm going to be talking about techniques that you can use in times of an anxiety attack or in times of you're just feeling anxious in general. So stay tuned for next Wednesday. Yeehaw!